Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, I'm Courtney Perna. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. In Top Story, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. We now know the names of the officers involved in a fatal shooting of a suspect on Tuesday. Those officers, Jay Mason and Wesley Marin, placed on administrative leave pending the outcome of a review. Police say an officer tried to make contact with the suspect who fled on foot, and after refusing verbal commands to drop a firearm, the two officers discharged their weapons. This is officer involved shooting number one for 2024, the first fatal shooting of the year. At the same time in 2023, we had no officer involved shootings. A 53-year-old man accused of stabbing his wife to death in front of their 5-year-old daughter. According to Metro, Moses Sanchez admitting to killing his wife on Saturday inside their home on the 4900 block of Chantilly Avenue. That's near Nellis and Charleston Boulevards. The woman has been identified as 43-year-old Veronica Cortez Rosales. Her husband faces one count of first-degree murder. He's currently in custody without bail and is due in court March 11th. Another man arrested in a fatal stabbing early Saturday, also accused of two other stabbings and threatening another person with a knife. Police say 33-year-old Cornelius Williams was identified through surveillance footage, his clothing, and facial recognition technology. He was booked into Clark County Detention Center on one count of murder, two counts of attempted murder, and one count of assault with a deadly weapon. Former President Donald Trump winning the Nevada Republican Caucus. Review Journal's Kerry Roper has the details. Former President Donald Trump scores his expected victory Thursday in the Nevada GOP's caucuses. Trump wins by a landslide with 99% of the votes in Nevada, with a total of over 59,000 votes. The other candidate, Ryan Binkley, only received 0.9% of the votes, with a total of 536. Following the caucuses, Nevada Republicans will nominate delegates from precincts in May. Republicans at the state convention will elect 26 delegates to attend the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee in July. Trump needs an estimated 1,215 delegates to secure his party's nomination, according to the Ballotpedia website. It has been a tremendous state, and you know, if we win the state, we easily win the election of whoever we have to win. Capacity for the Super Bowl will be slightly less than a Raiders home game. While more than 60,000 fans will pack Allegiant Stadium for the big game between the Chiefs and the 49ers, it's actually less than the usual 62,500 seats available at Raiders' regular season home games. That's the smallest capacity crowd in Super Bowl history. It's all because of more media covering the game and additional platform set up, according to the NFL. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Partly cloudy this morning and a slight chance of rain this afternoon. Daytime highs will be around 52 degrees, evening lows around 40 degrees. Plenty of sunshine on Saturday and a bit windy at times. Gusts expected to reach between 10 and 20 miles per hour. And on Super Bowl Sunday, sunny skies with light winds. Daytime highs around 55 degrees, dipping to the mid-30s overnight. In business, a world-famous chef bringing a mystery to Las Vegas for Super Bowl weekend. Sources say Rasmus Monk, the chef responsible for Alchemist in Copenhagen, will present secret trio dinners at the Illuminarium. This strictly need-to-know dinner will run you about $5,000 a plate. Chef Monk has two Michelin stars for Alchemist, rank number five in the world's 50 best. And what did Wynn Resorts do after a competitor opened next door? Posted its best quarterly figures in history. Win reporting fourth quarter revenue of $1.84 billion. That's up more than 80% from a year earlier. CEO Craig Billings says the opening of Fountain Blue next door hasn't been a factor for Win. adding February is shaping up to be its best ever. Sports, brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. The NFL Honors Ceremony took place in Las Vegas on Thursday night. Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson took home MVP for the 2023 season. Raiders defensive end Max Crosby was up for a number of awards, including Defensive Player of the Year, which went to Browns lineman Miles Garrett. Crosby was also up for the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. That award went to Pittsburgh Steelers' Cameron Hayward. Crosby also earned the nod for the Art Rooney Award, which went to Seattle's Bobby Wagner. In Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. The Find Your Anchor event brought the community together for an important cause, to promote mental health awareness. NFL players and alums assembled 1,000 blue boxes for distribution within the community. 
An initiative started by Find Your Anchor, each box contains items such as a list of resources, a Reasons to Live deck of cards, and a letter from a stranger, all designed to offer support. You see Intermountain Health and you see the, the tagline, the strongest play is asking for help, right? Uh, I really do think that's courage. I think that's vulnerability. I think it's the willingness to say that I'm not where I want to be or where I'm going to be, and that's okay, and together we can move forward. And that progress is so much more than being perfect, right? And I think that's, that's the mental health thing I, I would want to send to the viewers at home. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The largest wager on the Super Bowl was placed at Caesars Sportsbook as a better made a one million money line wager to win over $833,000 on the 49ers to beat the Chiefs. As of Thursday, there were also eight six-figure bets placed at sportsbooks on the spread and money line with all the tickets on the 49ers. San Francisco is a two-point favorite at Caesars, Circa, and South Point, while Boyd Gaming and the Westgate Superbook list the Niners as two-and-a-half point chalk. In lifestyle news brought to you by Casablanca Hotel and Resort, you have until Saturday to experience a football theme park. The Super Bowl experience is at the Mandalay Bay South Convention Center. It's for fans who can't make the game but want to enjoy the fanfare. You can tackle football obstacle courses, layer up with Super Bowl swag, and mingle with past and present players. Tickets are $50 for adults today and Saturday, but kids 12 and under get in free. In entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who is playing. For the latest entertainment headlines, let's send it over to Review Journal's John Katsilamidis. We have our first Audible in the Super Bowl as Tiesto, the superstar DJ, has been forced to pull out of his landmark appearance during Sunday's game. He was going to be the in-house DJ and perform all throughout the event at Allegiant Stadium. He is citing family problems that have forced him to make this late call. But Cascade, also a superstar DJ, is going to step in and become the first in-house DJ ever at a Super Bowl. Thanks for watching 7 at 7. I'm Courtney Perna. Don't forget, if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content and get your Las Vegas breaking news to you live on your OT device. We'll see you tonight for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Cutner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.